I have two questions on that. Like, uh, you talked about depressed. This is like a huge topic coming. Is it like you've been after you had your injuries, uh, um, and you said like you talked to a therapist? Did you go there and she diagnosed like you have a depression, or what did she say? Like, uh, is uh, you like your official <coughs> depression, or is it in your? Well, there's a, there's different levels of depression. I mean, for people if you want to get like technical and clinical about it, yeah. there's different levels. Like you can you can be you can feel depressing feelings, and you can kind of, it's like a moment. It's like it, you can you can be in a moment, but like clinical depression is something that you actually can't get out of, and you need to be medic. You need to see a doctor. You have to get medicated for it. You need to go to therapy. There's like things that you need to do mm -hmm. in order to get out of it, or else you won't, and you're just in it. And it's like, it, it, it literally, it's not like, oh man, like I kind of like that, I'm just bummed. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't want to do anything and I don't feel like doing anything and I don't like anything. Like there's, there's no sunshine, so you know? And so out, something like it's, it's, it's not like a burned out. It's like, um, it's like a giving, it's like a, it's like a, It's like it's like walking over into the corner and going, I'm just gonna lay down here and just die. Okay. It's not like you know, it's not even like I'm gonna kill myself. It's just like I'm just gonna go over here and I'm not gonna eat anything. I'm not gonna drink anything. I'm just gonna lay here. I'm not gonna talk to anybody. I'm just gonna do that until I die. That's what depression's like. Um, and for me, I've always kind of dealt with that my whole life. You know, um, I've always had these kind of depressive, this depressive side, and I think that's something I I've never liked. But I've also never liked being anything. I don't like being, ha I, I want to be happy, but when I'm in it, I try to get out of it. I don't like being sad. When I'm in it, I want to get out of it. I've never been comfortable just being, just being. Like, and, um, and once I realized that, like, you know, I just want to be able to feel the full spectrum of life, all the good stuff and the bad stuff, and be okay with it. So that's what I've been working on my, for myself. And, um, and it's great because, you know, things don't always have to go the way I want them to go. And I can still enjoy the process of it. You know, I can still appreciate what's happening, but it's taken a lot of work. And one of the things that actually really was very helpful was making this record. It was like being able to get in a room with my friends, you know, talk about what's going on with me, like not being afraid about talking about it like I'm not, you know, like I am right now. And then going into rooms with strange with people that I have no idea and talking about it and listening to them talk about it, and it's like, oh, like this is kind of cool. Like I didn't, you know, I I don't think most people realize like you don't have to know somebody to have an intimate experience with them, and it also you don't have to like know someone to feel safe enough to talk to them. Any group of people can get together and just be like, hey, we're gonna get real in here. Like let's get real and just be vulnerable, say whatever's going on and like be accepted, walk out of the room and feel great. And like, it changes the way that you approach life. So um, it was a really great thing. And what was also awesome about the process of making this record was by doing this, we were capturing like little Polaroid snapshots of our actual existence in that moment, as opposed to like in the past, we were like making these tracks, picking the, you know, picking the ones as a band like that we liked the most. Mm. And then like letting those dictate where we're going vibe wise and then kind of having to draw from those experiences but like not really sharing them just being kind of like yeah i mean like i've been mad before mm -hmm. you know it's like you're you're kind of pulling up things from the past all the time mm -hmm. as opposed to kind of like dealing with it in real time and then like Can finding a way to like make you? make the music represent it the best way yeah the the that thing you were talking about is like so so the difference in process, like it's like a technical difference between the way we would make music before um, and the way that we did this album. And it does circle back to the, what Chester was just talking about, like, which is really, I think what he was just talking about is so profound, not only for our record, I mean, obviously it drove our record, but it's just in general, like this is like such a cool thing that Chester went through um, and a piece of it, and that we all went through by the way, And a piece of it is like on our old records, we would make tracks, we'd make the music first and the music would kind of like inevitably the music would dictate what the song is going to be about. Right. So uh, my example that I've been thinking about a lot is if, if I had woke up in the morning and I wanted to write a song about my kids. So let's say, you know, my kids are, um, they're little, but they're pretty hard headed and they're strong willed and they have a point of view. And when they're 16, they're going to be so 
tricky to deal with because they're just going to slam the door and say, I hate you, dad. You don't understand me. You're just trying to, you know, make me do whatever. And the truth is like parents, you know, you're, you're, you're disciplining your kid or you're, you're leading your kid in certain directions to help them. Right. Um, and sometimes they don't want to hear that. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool to make a song for that situation and put it in a time capsule for my kids when they're 16? What if I walked in the studio that day and I said, and I, and the music that was on, that was up, that we had started the day before that we were ready to work on was a punk rock song that was like, da -da 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 -da, right? <laughs> I'd be like, oh, okay. Like this is what we're doing today. And I just completely take the other idea and put it somewhere else and forget about it maybe and come in and change my mind and work on this other thing. That's what we used to do. And it, and it wasn't that we were like any less excited about it. Like you just, I, I know myself, like I come in and I just like, oh, so this is what we're doing. And then I'd be a hundred percent focused on that. But the other idea would get lost. And like the next day, I don't know if I'd be so inspired about the other idea. Cause this, now this punk rock song is doing so well. It's like, sounds great. Let's work on that. The fact is that we walked in every day and we said, with nothing there, no music there, we said, what do you want to write about? And those things that Chester just talked about, like, that's what was going on, you know? And that was his, like, I had my own stuff. I think it was like a lot less, less like, probably less dramatic, less, maybe less interesting than what's going on. You know, but we'd all relate it. Like we're all friends, is, we're all a family. Like it's all touching one, one another's experiences. You know? Here's the interesting thing about feelings and about, perception is a lot of people feel like oh like especially when you're trying to like get sober this is a perfect example of trying to get sober some people may not have gone down the road of like injecting and like living on the streets and like mm -hmm. you know that kind of stuff and so they think like oh my story is not that bad <laughs> right. It's like, dude, no, man. Like, if you th if you're here, it's as bad as you if think you're it. here. <laughs> it's that bad. There's nothing special about that guy who's been living on the streets and the person who's just like, uh, uh, you know, binge drinker uh, three times a month or something. Mm -hmm. You know, like your life's fucked up and you realize that there's something you got to do about it and it's just as hard on either end, right? And so, like, um. You know, that's the beauty I think of like music in general is like it attaches itself to anything. All you have to do is be able to feel things um, and and understand what's going on. It doesn't mean like, you know, the, the situations that make you sad or frustrated or angry or happy or fall in love or any of those things, they don't have to be exactly the same as the person next to you. Mm -hmm. um, and but each one is just as relevant as the next and um and so that's what was like really interesting about this process it was like you know i remember one day coming in and just being like do you really want to know it's like we were having all this small talk and it was like really kind of funny and like we were just like you know talking about the weather and like the traffic well, it was sucked. like it was like hey like how are you doing and you're like i'm fine and i was like i'm good you know traffic sucked whatever like i'm stoked like whatever yeah. and then we get like <laughs> more small talk was going on and i was like you guys really want to know what happened today? Mm. And they're like, yeah. And I told them and everyone was like, oh shit. Yeah. Because it was like one of the gnarliest fucking things you could ever find out and you never want to hear. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you never want to get the news I got that morning, ever. There's no situation that would make it like, okay, like I could deal with that. It's not like, oh, my house burned down. You can get another fucking house. You know, this was like one of the worst things ever. And it was like, that's what I'm going through right now. And, and, and even though nobody in the room had that exact experience, everyone was like, oh shit, like I can relate, like I can empathize with how you're feeling. I can put myself in your shoes and be like, fuck dude, that's crazy. And you're here. Mm -hmm. And so like, you know, that's all these things were going on and it just inspired all these really great songs, all these really intimate moments. And it was just one after another, after another, after another, after another. Next thing you know, we've got like 40 songs. Some of them were a little bit more kind of funky. Some of them were like a little bit more, a little bit more lighthearted. But ultimately, the majority of them felt almost like this record. And we were just like, I guess this is the kind of record we're making, you know? Um, I guess this is what we're doing right now. Let's make the sounds really fun. Let's build the tracks and make the music as interesting as possible because the, the lyrics and the melodies are so 
ah, you know? And so it was really like, it was like this really fun, interesting experience. And at the end of it, I mean, I was like, fuck the world when we started this. And now I'm like, I love you. I'm looking outside like, oh, the birds just shit on my car. You know, look at that. That's funny. That's so cool. You know, it's like, I mean, it's like, it's crazy. But it's not one of these like manic episodes where it's like, you know, I'm just like, Rah! you know, it's like, uh, it's like legitimate. Um, there's more peace. There's more of like a sh kind of like a quiet. And it's because I've earned that. I've worked for it and, and I have tools and like everybody's earned it. Everybody, we're all really happy. We're all really stoked about what we created. We're stoked about how we've grown as a band and as friends and um, I think that making this record in the way that we did uh, was not only great for us creatively, but it was also great for us as people too. So I'm not allowed to say anything more. Yeah. I have so many questions. <laughs> of course, I want to know what actually, what is the new feeling now getting together, as you said. Well, like, we'll have to save it for next time. Okay. It was good though. I think that I think that like that was really you know that was exceptionally deep um, and really good. Really yeah, good. thank you so much. Yeah, you're hope you enjoyed it. And it was really interesting to me, and I didn't expect that to be honest. So well, we didn't talk about like well, we used this guitar tone. <laughs> Where what about this like recording process? And we really I like mean, yeah, pop yes. music. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, uh, you're so long in the game, so that was actually the reason why I talked about being older, yeah. being mayor as a yeah. human being, because we are all human beings. Exactly. So, no, I, I and, enjoy it. It's and, great. And, it's and, great. And, um, yeah, next time we're going to continue. I think it's important for people to realize that we're actually human beings. Too. That's it. <laughs> I mean, because you talked so many times about music. So okay, right. really, cool, man. That's really fun. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Um, if if you don't have any time left for the pictures, we can just make like a really quick one. We have like two minutes for, we have okay. a photograph waiting there. Oh, just do like two quick shots and one shot with me. This would be great. Okay. 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 Is that where we're at?